Okay, our third factor is the weight forward to center of the arrow. And it is the most important factor in increasing penetration because it enables the other factors that are there to be utilized to their maximum efficiency. The weight forward to center is something most people don't think about. It actually comes up as an aeronautical term for rocketry and airplanes and flight and so forth. And the important concept to get is that the higher the FOC, the more stable a body is in flight. And the less the FOC, the more maneuverable the object in flight is. So what we want is stability. And it's important to remember that your era is always flying. It doesn't matter whether it's flying through the air or flying through meat or through bone or through lung tissue, it's still flying. So we want as stable a flight as we can possibly get from the air. Now, there seems to be no downside, as far as we can tell with the testing, to high amounts of FOC. The higher you go, we keep seeing an increase in penetration. And it is progressive, so that the penetration gain, percentage-wise, between 19 and 20 percent, would be less than it would be between 25 and 26 percent. So it goes up progressive. So there is advantage to having as high FOC as you can possibly use. But it's important to realize that you cannot just go for FOC without maintaining that important era flight. If you don't have the era flight with it, you just have a high FOC era that's still not going to penetrate because it's not flying well. That flight is the enabler. It's going to allow that FOC to do its job. So it's a problem you hit nowadays more with the compounds because there's you know long draw lengths for a lot of people. 30 inches is not uncommon. Uh, that's pretty unusual with the traditional bow. And with the traditional bows, we can use much lighter spined arrows because most are not center shot. So it's actually an advantage to not be uh, a stiff spine. But with the compounds, you're going to have to go stiffer and stiffer spines. So you might, depending on the weight you're shooting up front, end up with a 250 spine that you're having to use to get the, uh, the flight right. So don't concentrate just on FOC without perfect air of flight. Those two go hand in hand. But remember, these are ranked in order of importance. So it's more important to have that perfect air of flight than it is to have FOC. Now, the rankings will change some as we go through stuff. Some things become important under certain situations, like errors above the heavy bone threshold, way down at the bottom. But when you hit a heavy bone, it jumps up to the number three position. So there are times that they will change. But number one and number two are never going to change. So when you're working on the FOC, be sure to maintain the error flight at a perfect level or you're defeating the advantage you would get from the increased FOC. The FOC can give you a huge amount of penetration increase, anywhere from 40 to 60%. So it is the most important factor in terms of the amount of penetration increase it can generate as long as you have structurally uh, integrity and perfect air of flight.